Hey, Michael, X-Course PC. Just give you a quick look at Microsoft Flight Sim running on the Dream Package. This is the classic uh, Cessna 172 over the Friday Harbor scenery. You can see our frame rate is nice. We, of course, just like X-Plane, we can look down and around using the hat switch. So you can look all around and see kind of what's going on. I need to give myself a little throttle there. Um, and of course with Microsoft Flight Sim, there's also other planes to choose from. Let's uh, pick another plane real fast. We'll go for the old trusty Baron, like we were using in X-Plane on the other video I did. So here's the Baron, and again. You, know, you can look all around and all inside the plane and all around and out the side window and see what you're about to crash into. Or you can keep things kind of straight on. You can also uh, zoom it out a bit if you want a little bit of a wider view. And then you can kind of uh, move your head down and actually see all the instruments and see out of the plane. It gets a little fisheye looking in that regard, but it does let you see everything at one time. And of course maybe you can even zoom in a little bit more than I just was. Let's open up one more plane. We'll open the King Air. Here we are. And the King Air. And of course all the knobs and buttons and whatnot work and change the frequencies right on the screen as well as you know the flaps and uh, pitch trim all this stuff you know works with all the planes you can see we've got a really nice frame rate we've got the we've got the this is the default scenery that comes with Microsoft Light Sim and we've got everything set to ultra you know, it's possible if you downloaded some add-on scenery, maybe you wouldn't be able to turn everything on Ultra, but, you know, for our purposes here, we're able to turn everything pretty much all the way up. So, uh, and you can switch back and forth between X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Sim on the same PC. You do not have to uh, necessarily choose one. You can just, you know, go back and forth because, you know, there's good attributes about one versus the other and sometimes maybe there's a plane that's um, better on one than the other. For instance, I think the 172 that comes with X-Plane is not that great and the one that comes with Microsoft Flight, Flight Sim is pretty good. So um, that may be a situation where you want to um, you know, switch back and forth. If you got any questions, it's Michael at XForcePC.com. Again, that is Michael at XForcePC.com.